Hey guys, Ivan here, and you are looking at the official list of the Arnold Classic 2022. Yep, it is out, speculations are over, now we know who is doing it, maybe some other names will actually be added, there is still 11 weeks to go, but as for now, this is it. So, we have an update of a couple of bodybuilders from this list, we're gonna check out how these guys look right now, and what their chances are, let's discuss this topic. So, first we have William Bonek. He posted this photo and he looks good, like he looks white, he looks muscular, sure, but you know, he started fading in the past couple of years and the main reason for that is the leg size. So he posted his legs as well and they don't really look that impressive. So I don't think he's a, he's a contender to win, no, no, at his best, his absolute best, 2019, he didn't win against Brandon. So can he beat him now? Now that he's not really what he was once, even though he's a two times champion, even though he was the runner up 2019 and he was really good that year, that was three years ago. And uh, can he be as good in 2022? I really doubt that. But if it happens, then he has a chance of winning. If not, not likely. Raphael Brandau, great addition, very interesting. Can he win? No. Max Charles, also, can he win? No. Brandon Curry. Right now, it seems like he's going to win it, of course, he was second at the Mr. Olympia, so unless Big Ramby shows up, Bradon Curry has the biggest chance of actually winning this. Uh, Samson Dauda, great competitor, I don't think he can win. Nathan Diasha, well, this can be a surprise, but based on what happened lately, I mean, Samson beat him, Regan beat him, yeah, it's not really, it's not a safe bet. Regan Grimes, he looks great, this is the photo that he posted, uh, he's with Milos right now, he's, they are working together, and it seems like Regan is going to bring his absolute best, but you know what, I talked about him potentially winning, now looking at this lineup, it's not gonna be easy, uh, because of Brandon Curry, William Bonac, and then Steve Kuklo as well, Steve Kuklo is a beast, and this is what he posted, this is from prep files from his last prep. This is not. Uh, this is not right now, but still, I mean, it hasn't really been a long time since. And Steve doesn't really have a lot of flaws. If he brings it, if he comes really on, if he is conditioned, if he is full, and if he has the deep cuts, the striations, the separations, and everything, if he peaks properly, and if his muscle maturity has been improved, and I think it is. I mean, this guy is getting better with time, with age. I think he has a chance of being in top three. I don't know if he can win, but, you know, top three, something like that, I, I can see that. Uh, Cedric McMillan, lately it hasn't really been good for him, I mean, he, he had that injury and he lost a lot of mass and he kind of never really got it back. Can he get it back? I don't know, I don't know, if he can, if he does, then he also has a chance to win again, he won it once. But I definitely wouldn't bet on him, even cracking the top 6, honestly. It's possible if he brings the old shape back, but even if he does against Brandon... I don't know, I don't know, man. And also, here's the thing, he, he always fades when the big shows are happening, like Mr. Olympia. Iron Classic is smaller than Mr. Olympia, but this year the prize money is crazy. $200,000, and a lot of great competitors are in it. There's a lot of fuss, a lot of talk about this Arnold Classic, so the pressure can affect Cedric this time as well, and based on his previous performance, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say that he can crack, let's say, the finals, the top five. I don't see him in the finals, no, honestly. Next competitor is Brazilian, Fabio Giga Rezende. He won the amateur uh, Arnold Classic last year, and now he's qualified for this one, he's doing it. Uh, Justin Rodriguez is competing, Justin, he wants to win it, he wants to win, he, he says he can do it, he has a lot of size, he has a lot of good points, he is a beast, but is he really on a level of some of the other competitors, if he is at his absolute best, maybe I can see him cracking the top 5, but that's about it. I don't see him doing much better than that. Mohamed Shaban, he's kind of the same level, similar level to Justin, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, uh, depending on how, how on he actually is, how conditioned, how improved. Also, this guy is improving at a very fast rate, so he might bring something surprising. Brett Wilkin, that was my pick to win the Arnold Classic. Now against Brandon, it's gonna be tough. But I do still have him winning it. I, I'm predicting this. This is crazy. I know. I know how good Brandon is. But I think Brett is going to win the Arnold Classic. I still do. 
I know it's a little bit of a bold prediction. You cannot really know this because you never saw him against the other guys. A lot of people had James Hollingshead, for example, winning the Mr. Olympia. Not winning, but like being in top three or something like that. And he was 14th or something. We never saw him compared to the top guys before. Same thing now with Brett. But based on Brett's look from that Chicago Pro, and considering the fact that he improved, that he gained 7 to 8 pounds in the, in the offseason, and based on just this update right here that you can see, this is him right now. You know what? It's very possible for him to win the Arnold Classic. If he does that against this kind of lineup, that would that would send a message. That would make him like a potential Mr. Olympia winner. But I know how difficult it is to, to, to do that. I, I just feel like it's possible. If that doesn't happen, I do have him in my top three. Yeah. Now, finally, we have Akim Williams. Akim Williams, he's not very outspoken, so people usually kind of forget about him, but he was top six at the Mr. Olympia, guys, last year, not this year. So this guy, if he brings it, if he improves a little bit, if he brings better conditioning, maybe improves his lower back a little, he can also be a great surprise. He can be like top three. Yeah, I can see that. So that's the official list, that's the full list, those are the guys, and hopefully we'll have a addition of a couple of others, like maybe Hari Japan, maybe, you know, Big Ramy, <laughs> maybe some of the other guys as well, I don't know, I hope for, for more, but as for now, it is a freaking awesome list, it is a great list of competitors, and I really hope nobody will drop out, usually they do, usually a couple of the guys don't end up competing, but I hope it will be minimized, I hope most of these guys, or at least, or, or hopefully everybody will, will actually do the show, but it's a great list, it's, a, it's definitely an awesome, a great list, you cannot deny that, so it's gonna be an epic show, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen, who's going to win it, is it gonna be an upset? Or is it going to be the same old story, like Brandon Curry, William Bonek, Kim Williams, Cedric, the other guys like uh, Steve Kuklo, you know, in the top five? Or maybe it's going to be Brett Wilkin, maybe it's going to be Regan Grimes, maybe even Mohamed Shaban, maybe Justin Rodriguez. <laughs> Anything is possible, really. All these guys are actually very close. Samson Dauda has all the tools. Nathan Diash is a great bodybuilder. These guys can actually surprise us. Rafael Brandau, if he's in good shape and he, if he improves a little, gets a little bit bigger, thicker, denser, you know, anything is possible. It's Arnold Classic, so it's going to be an epic one. Now, let's check out the Classic Physique lineup. And here we have the top five for the Mr. Olympia without the winner, Chris Bumstead. So we have Brion Ainsley, he was third. Uh, we have uh, Urs Kaletsinski, if that's his last name, he was, I believe, fourth. Uh, Terence Ruffin was second. And Ramon Dino was uh, fifth. So there you go, that's your top five from the Mr. Olympia, yep. And we also have an addition of Peter Molnar, who is not going to win it, probably won't beat any of these guys that I just mentioned, but he's very, very popular, especially in the Europe, and uh, he's definitely a great addition here. Then we also have uh, Divine Wilson, great bodybuilder, a uh, great classic physique guy, he can, you know, he's a great addition, I don't think he can beat the other guys that I just mentioned, maybe he can beat Peter Molnar, I think he beat him before, uh, Lenny Wicks and Darwin Uri, but that's the list. So, this is also a great list, and what is very interesting about the classic physique is that the prize money went up from 7000 to $60,000, which is, uh, I think, double than it is uh, the Mr. Olympia. I think Mr. Olympia was 30000 So, this is great for classic physique, for uh, open Mr. Olympia. This is just epic, this is just awesome. So, guys, there is 11 more weeks left until the Arnold Classic. Before it happens, we have the entire build-up. And I think that's the best part of bodybuilding shows, actually. The show itself happens in a couple of minutes, in 10 minutes, the guys are on stage and it's over, right? But the whole build-up, everything that happens before, posting photos, posting videos, uh, arguing, uh, creating drama, speculating who is going to win, who is going to place where, who is going to lose, whatever. What I'm saying is, for all those details, all the photos, all the videos, all the updates, all the speculation and, and everything, subscribe to this channel, guys. Stay tuned for a lot more videos about the bodybuilding and 11 more weeks until the Arnold Classic is going to be awesome. Can't wait. And I'm really curious what's going to happen in those 11 weeks. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. And for more stuff like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.